A look at the Daytona Rose Gold Rainbow Rolex. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button to avoid missing any amazing video from us. Now a few weeks after Battle World, I'm still on the fence about one watch. The Rainbow Daytona, to be precise. I wish I could explain why I adore this watch so much, but putting obsession into words is difficult. Let's face it, words alone aren't always enough. I'm embarrassed to confess it. But when I first saw the watch, my hands shook, my palms sweated, and hot tears pricked the back of my eyes. It was love at first sight for both of them. The Rainbow Daytona was first offered in white and yellow gold in 2012. It was produced in very small amounts, soon gained cult status, and has nearly tripled in value since then. Rolex shocked all of us this year by releasing the Everose version, which is stunning in metal. The watch is fairly similar to the two previous models, but the case and band are made of a new metal and the hour indices are altered, which, while minor, has a large effect. Gemstone Setting This specific version of the chronograph launched at Basel World 2018, alongside other arrivals, such as GMT Pepsi with the Jubilee Bracelet. The rose gold watch's case is set with 56 brilliant cut diamonds. Instead of a traditional tachymeter scale, the chronograph's bezel is adorned with 36 rainbow colored baguette cut sapphires that are all flawlessly cut and set. 11 more sapphires replace the hour makers on the black lacquer dial for a total of 47 sapphires on this premium watch. The difficult thing for Rolex is not working with the jewels but rather sourcing such high quality gradations and gemstones. Rolex, of course, has its own gemology and gem setting department dedicated to this type of work. Rolex has demonstrated true craftsmanship that only professionals in hot horology could achieve. Excellently done. In addition, the chronograph subdials have been crystallized to give them a gleaming appearance, and they now come in a pink, gold crystals tint. The Everose Rainbow also has two new options that were not available in earlier versions. While the path dial choice is acceptable, the bracelet with diamonds on the middle links is a touch too much for my liking. Functionality and Material The case is water resistant to 100 meters. The hour and minute bands have blue luminous material, and the sturdy oyster bracelet is equipped with the oyster lock safety folding clasp, despite the abundance of gemstones. The Rolex automatic in-house caliber 4130 maintains the watch ticking inside the case. The expensive watch also has a 72-hour power reserve. The carefully created 18-karat Everose Gold is another important feature. The alloy, which is an in-house creation, contains 76% gold, 2% platinum, and the rest is a mix of copper and silver. Due to its unique structure, the material is resistant to fading, allowing the Rolex Daytona to maintain its brilliance throughout time, retail and market price. The Daytona Rainbow, an extremely collectible Rolex, had an initial selling price of $96,900. However, the Daytona Rainbow's secondary market price has reached north of $350,000. Due to the 40mm case's ability to both fit male and female wrists, as well as his celebrity status and limited production quantities. In any case, don't bother asking your AD about the Daytona Rainbow's availability. In comparison to buying this piece at retail pricing, you're more likely to solve a Rubik's Cube in a dark room. Rolex's unique alloy of pink gold. The automatic caliber 4130 powers the watch, which is water resistant to 100 meters or 330 feet. So yes, you can swim with this watch on your wrist, I wouldn't usually advise that, but with this watch, I think it's a great idea. Imagine the glistening underwater at the beach. I'm sure you can. The Daytona Rainbow is currently the most desired Rolex watch, and I don't expect that to change anytime soon. The instant it was unveiled at Basel World, the watch became a cult favorite. Simply told, the Rolex Cosmograph Daytona Rainbow could be the ultimate collector's item in modern watch collecting. When to wear. Wearing such a watch, in my opinion, never gets old but it may not be the ideal everyday companion. Wearing this watch with a suit and tie might be a tad excessive. I'd pair it with either the most basic outfit in your closet, such as sneakers, blue jeans, and a white shirt, or the craziest, most colorful outfit in your closet. What we love about this watch. Obviously, Rolex's gemstone setting on the Daytona Rainbow is stunning. I adore how the patented and exclusive Everose 18 karat pink gold alloy looks so good on the watch and complements the jewel so well. It's far superior to the earlier Daytona Rainbow models in white and yellow gold in my opinion. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. 
hit that bell icon to never miss any updates. See you soon in another exciting video.